Hello, welcome to MapLibre tutorial number 13. In this video, I'm going to show you how to construct a base map uh, for ocean base symmetry. And in the last couple of videos, we have shown you how to uh, display buildings in 3D, 3D terrain, and also some 3D base map. But most of those base map basically are focusing on land area. So someone working in ocean, you might want some ocean base map. So we also have an example of that. Again, go to leafmap.org uh, and then on the left side, map liberate. If you scroll down to find awesome basimetry, so this is the example we're going to use. Uh, super easy. It should be a very short uh, video. And again, you can run this one in Google Collab. Just open it in Google Collab. Or you can download this one to your computer. Uh, but you need to install uh, packages on your computer. I have already downloaded it and opened this one in my Jupyter Lab. So, you do need to have a, a, a map tiler API key. So if you don't, you can follow the uh, first video tutorial to create the API key and after that, just import. So it's super easy to use. Then you just specify the API key. After that, you can specify the style. So uh, map tiler does have some of these um, base maps. And you will see this one is also in here. And actually this one is not for 3D. Uh, it's a very basic one. So we're going to basically have this base map overlay on top of the ocean base symmetry. Under the hood, it's going to have two data layers, uh, basically the, the hue shape and also the base map uh, layer. We also have uh, increased the exaggeration because ocean gravity compared to the land is not very obvious. So some uh, it's gravity flat. I, um, and so let me run this one. Let's look at what it looks like. So here, this is what you see. So right now, all the land area kind of in the um, white color. And so in the ocean, you will see we have some textures in here. And you can actually explore that, right? So, for example, you can zoom in. So, I believe this is the uh, Mariana Trench. So, it's the deepest part of the ocean. And if you zoom in, look at this. And you can uh, con press control on your keyboard. And then you can just tilt it. So, now look at this. So, this is the ocean. And if you zoom in, right? Pretty cool. You also have the, the contour line actually in here. And so, if you're someone really interested in explore. Uh, the ocean uh, this might be a base map that you might want to use and uh, again it's just one line of code uh, you're welcome to try it out and you can do that for any location around the globe so the uh, base image is actually pretty detailed right so this is in the pacific ocean we can also look at for example the uh, atlantic um, atlantic ocean and again you can zoom in you can see even here right some of these uh, ocean mid ocean atlantic reach Basically, the ocean reef. I mean, it's pretty cool. 3D. Okay, so this is what I want to show you. Again, it's super simple. And also, the hue shade in here, you can turn this one off. Right? So, right now, you see the hue shade. If this is not something you don't want to see, you will you notice when I'm zooming, zooming and zoom out, there's some artifacts, right? So, the horizontal and vertical stuff, um, it's not very ideal. So, if you don't want it, you can just turn this one off. Let me see this one off and you can you can increase the exaggeration so maybe change to two and then just run this one again now it should be a, a little bit more uh the height will be a lot more different change this one zooming so certainly you can see some very detailed um contour lines in here awesome and but if i turn the hue set off it looks a little bit flat, it's not really always compared to the last one. So you might want to just keep this one on and then you increase the exaggeration. So now you see this should be a little bit better compared to the one earlier, right? So see some texture because the hue is still beneath the, the base map. Okay, so this is what I want to show you in this video. I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye bye.